Hello, welcome to Kretz Homes TV. I'm Darlene Kretz with Remax Garden City and Team Kretz. The other half of Team Kretz is Paul Kretz, and he's the cameraman. We thought we'd just give you a couple of ideas on how to get things ready for the winter. We're going to start off with letting you know one of the most important things you should do is make sure your gutters are cleaned on the outside of your house. You don't want them clogging up over the winter. And while you're outside, check out your central air conditioning unit. Is it all covered up? Make sure it is. Now let's go into the inside. Are your windows all caulked and are they all ready for the winter? You don't want to heat the outside. You want to keep the heat on the inside of your home. Speaking of heat on the inside of your home, do you have a wood burning fireplace? And do you use it regularly? If you do, please, for your family's sake, make sure you have it inspected on an annual basis. We don't want to hear of any chimney fires. And they do happen every year we hear about them in the news. So stay protected and make sure your fireplace gets inspected. Now, one of the other things you should do is make sure you have lots of salt. Get ready for the snow that's coming our way. Do you own a snow blower? Do you actually use it? If you do, make sure it's actually working. You don't want any surprises and go and get your snow blower and it's not working. And make sure you have the fluids you need for it, the gas and the oil, etc. Speaking of gas and oil, how is your car? Do you have your car winterized? Winterizing your car isn't just making sure you have new wipers, snow tires, and all the fluids are, are all topped up. You, you should also make sure you have an emergency car kit. It's really important if something happens to you and you're stranded. Now, those are my ideas. I'm sure you have loads of ideas that you could use too. Oh, wait a minute. I just thought of another one. Do you own a hot tub? Is it outside? Do you want to continue using your hot tub as a hot tub but not a cold tub? Make sure those water lines are all insulated. And once you get it, once you get your hot tub up and running and there's a little bit of snow falling, give us a call. We'd love to come over. Anyway, thanks for joining us on Kretz Homes TV. And please, remember, we are never too busy for any of your referrals.